What if Jesus came again? Would you be ready? I'm welcoming back my friend, Dre Hill. He's a producer, director, and musician. He and his wife, Monica Hill, are joining me to talk about the third season launch of The Rapture Chronicles. How exciting. Dre and Monica, I'm so glad you're here. All right. You are so happy to be here, Nancy. Yes, thank you so much. For those who don't know about The Rapture Chronicles, can we talk about what it is and why you started this series? Okay, so The Rapture Chronicles is a series of short stories um, about people that um, was living or going through a ordinary day in their life. Mm -hmm. And um, suddenly, without warning, um, the rapture took place. But before the rapture took place, um, these characters got into a conversation with each other about um, the rapture. And so um, they weren't aware that this was their last opportunity to uh, make a decision for Christ or not. And so we made it happen suddenly and then then we just leave it open, <laughs> you know, like that. I've seen uh, several of them and I love them all. And I love the way you open it up and you close it. Um, okay. It's almost like a Twilight Zone type, type of thing, right? Where mm -hmm. it's black and white and it's, it's really cool. And um, so now you're coming upon season three, what do you see happening in three and and what do you think people will learn through it? We try to tackle uh, subjects that are in the news today um, so that people can kind of sort of be relevant, you know, and, and, and the idea is to use that particular subject and write a story around it so that those that are interested in that, they can be drawn in, mm -hmm. but then they'll be drawn into the gospel also. Right. And then the um, what could happen if you don't choose <laughs> to to um, obey the word of God and what happens when you do choose to uh, continue to obey, obey the word of God or even at the last second, you know, um, make that make a change, you know, because God knows the heart. You know, we don't. <clears throat> and so. Like that, um, like the person that was on the cross, I'm right next to Jesus. You know, Jesus said, "Today you'll be with me in paradise." I wouldn't want to wait that long, <laughs> you know, to take that chance. But you know, um, we just wanted to be able to uh, reach. Um, I, I have four groups of people in mind um, when writing this. Um, the first one is for the church. Um, those that are living God, you know, living for God. So I like it to be like a, a faith adrenaline shot, you know, to to encourage them like, all right, all right. A second group is for people that they go to church, you know, but that's all they do, you know, is go to church. So uh, hopefully it will shake them up enough that they want to get closer to God and, and walk, you know, with the Lord. And then the third one is for people that um, know somebody um, who's saved, um, but they're not ready. They don't believe it. They refuse it. And then the fourth group is for those that have no idea what the rapture is. So in each episode, the goal is to be able to uh, reach all those people in this one episode and, and hopefully bring them to a conclusion that they need to, they need Jesus. Yeah. And how do you see God leading you through this? I mean, you know, you're, you're doing all these episodes and yet are you seeing God's hand in not only the, the actors and actresses and the production company that's, that's going on, but also in the lives of people that are watching this? Yeah, we, we actually received a, uh, a YouTube, two of them, two um, uh, comments where both of these people, they actually binge watch all of the episodes, you know, from, from the beginning to the end. And then when they saw that we have a third episode come out, you know, they said we, they really wanted to be able to, uh, you know, be available, you know, when it comes out. And then, then we have gotten messages from people um, from different countries. Um, 
the one that, that sticks out to me the most is that it's a young lady from Nigeria. And she said that um, she was going the wrong path. But then after seeing this movie, she she uh, turned back to Christ. So so it's, it's just to me, those type of comments is worth, you know, what we're doing because, Absolutely. yeah, that, you know, that's the purpose of this is, is to reach souls for Jesus. You know, you're giving me the chills over here. <laughs> I literally, when you're talking about this woman, I'm, I'm literally getting the chills of how the Holy Spirit works and how he's working through this program to bring souls to Christ. Because we don't know at the last minute, that's how it can happen. Right. And that's, and that's exactly what your, your program does. It just, you, you snap and boom, you're gone. And you know, this, this can happen. Monica, you're too quiet over there. So I'm going to ask you about <laughs> your I, I role. Didn't wanna, I didn't want to interrupt. He, he stated that very well. And as he stated, globally, we've been receiving emails, you know, to church house productions and regarding the Rapture Chronicles, um, there's been people saying, this has really changed my life. You know, at first I wasn't sure, you know, what I be believed in, but this caused me to want to look further into it. And, you know, in the church community, we have different levels, of course. There are those who are seasoned and they are familiar with the Bible and even revelations, but there's a church community who does, doesn't have a clue what the book of Revelation is or what it's about. They know about the love of Jesus. They've heard of the salvation power of Jesus, but they don't know what happens after we leave this earth. When we leave these bodies, they don't know that there's an, an eternity, an eternity, and we have to choose and be prepared for that eternity. So I love that this series is bringing awareness, you know, to those who don't know and the episodes always give um, an opportunity for those who don't know to repent and to choose Jesus. Yeah. Well, I got to say, this is genius. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Yes, to God. because he's the one who gives you wisdom and knowledge to put things like this together. Yeah. But honestly, I don't know anybody else who's doing anything like this. So I think that you are, you know, unique in the in the fact that you heard God calling you to this. Um, Monica, what was your role in the movie? I know there was a role there. When COVID, when we were in the midst of the pandemic, um, we weren't able to meet and do the group uh, series the way that we normally did. So he did one that just featured me in the park, you know, it's a beautiful day. I'm gonna read my Bible, I'm so excited. You know, I'm just embracing, you know, the day and loving the Lord. And it's a very short uh, mini series and I sit down to begin to read and just like that, you know, it's over, the rapture has happened. And so that was uh, one of the series or, or one of the episodes that I played in. And then I was a, a voiceover for I was a mom in episode four, the voiceover, and also in episode nine, um, I had a, a pretty involved role. So join it. I also help behind the cameras, and that's always nice because you know I don't have that pressure of you know I, I enjoy doing it, but always you know am I you know, looking just right, you know, <laughs> but I, I do enjoy the acting part of it as well. Um, to me, it's, it's pretty easy to put yourself in that position of what you would feel like if you were on the end and you were left behind, yeah. you know, but of course, you know, we, we don't expect, you know, to, for that to be our reality, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but it will be someone's reality. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Carmen was just on and she uh, talked about her role, but um, so funny because I saw this one where the woman actually screamed and that was her. She had a yeah. picture of it in the background. Yeah. So it was, it was awesome. And um, <laughs> you know, she, because she was left behind and that's why she screamed. I like the, the pattern of Twilight Zone as far as opening with the, you know, with a piece of the movie and then then the lesson you know and, I, and I, i'm a teacher you know I, 
I love to teach. So, so I, I thought that that would be a good, you know, spot to, to at least open up, open it up and kind of give people abbreviation of what the story may look like. And then at the end, I thought that was the most important part because I want people to leave with a clear idea that, you know, the choices that they make, you know, that they, that they will make will either be what's going to be eternal. Um, and we want you to be on the correct side of going into eternity. So, and, and this season that we're in, uh, we can, we see the signs mm -hmm. all over the world that we're getting closer to the end mm. and it's up to us to do whatever we, we need to all be obedient to the voice of the Lord. He may mm -hmm. call some to write, he may come uh, call some to do films, some to sing, some to minister, but in whatever he calls us to do, we need to be obedient. We need to be ready and say, Lord, you know, whether I feel qualified or not, let me just step out and do it because he qualifies the called, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? And so I'm in a position as well where Lord, if I don't have experience in this area or not, just help me to be, have, let my posture be, Lord, whatever it is that you want me to do, help me to step forward and be willing and to mm -hmm. be an example in these last days and to help encourage and inspire and stir it up, you know, for the Christians that are half sleep and the ones that are giving up. Mm -hmm. uh, it just isn't the time you know, for us to relax and to, you know, be lulled to sleep. Mm -hmm. and so, we must have our candles uh, ready, right? We have the right. oil in the lamps. Right. And we yeah. need to be ready for him to come. Yeah. And so, you know, one of the things that I think about too is like, there must have been challenges when you were doing your production. You want to talk about a little bit about that? Um, with each episode, it takes faith to look past what has not gone the way we thought it should have gone or or what has not happened when we thought that it should happen um it, and and this is a deeper walk of faith you know i i think it's it's not as hard to walk by faith when you have everything that you think you need <laughs> but mm -hmm. but when you get to a point where um, you don't know where this is going to come from. You don't know how this is going to happen. This is when our faith has to increase. You know, we have to believe God and, and talk to ourselves and say, no, God said, you know, um, if he, he gave us the vision and he will give us the provision. And so, and so that has been our um, challenge on all, on all of the episodes and and we can see that God has brought people people that we didn't we never met before you know that wanted to be a part of what we're doing um, on this last episode we have people um, that have come from more than two hours you know away to be a part of this and um, it, it is just when 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 I see things like that um, it just it's overwhelming almost because it's like, wow, God, you know, I would have never been able to figure that out. I would have never thought to do this or, you know, so, so he just, he just showing his hand. Um, what, what he told me, um, this is in, um, 1999 <laughs> and this, this is when I actually started uh, church house records at that time. And then it became church house productions. Um, when he was putting on my heart to start this company, um, I was, my response was, oh Lord, I don't have this, I don't have this, I don't know this, I don't know that. And, and he gave me a scripture, and this is when the children of Israel were coming out of Egypt, and they were at the Red Sea, and, and, they, get, they were, and uh, Egyptians were behind them, and there was a firewall, you know, keeping them. And so they began to look around and see, well, you know, what are we going to do? And God told Moses to tell the people to move forward. And, and he told me, he said, this is how this is going to work for you. 
you're not going to know how things are going to happen. You just move forward and then I'll open the Red Sea. <clears throat> so can you do you see this episode, Monica, changing lives? Absolutely. It's, I think it's an extremely powerful episode because I, I can't tell too much, but it does show um, this figure, this uh, scientific uh, figure, this male that is very well uh, favored by many people in the world. Uh, he has lots of fans, lots of followers, and he has a show and you know, people are just behind him, all, you know, almost like he's their little God. Mm -hmm. And so they're following him faithfully and they find out as well as the rest of the viewing audience that uh, just because you have a grand following and people on your side who believe fully in you does not mean that you are on the right path. Mm -hmm. um, and the Bible even tells us that broad it's the way of destruction. Narrow is the gateway and the straight path. It's the mm -hmm. way that leads to life. So in this episode, without saying, giving away too much, um, his followers will find out that there was a, uh, another way. Um, the Bible also says there is a way that seems right to a man, but the ways thereof are the end, are the ends, is the ways of death. Mm -hmm. The end thereof of the ways of death. Mm -hmm. So, but it, it, I definitely encourage everyone to to stay tuned for this. It's going to definitely be uh, life changing. We definitely believe that. And uh, the actor, the main character, I mean, he was phenomenal. Yes. And as my husband stated, he traveled actually about three hours to get to us. Um, and as far as the challenges and making uh, the production and going through the filming, we didn't know for weeks, you know, who we were going to use for this main role. Mm -hmm. And we had someone else who stepped into the role and then they were unable to do it. And at that point, we just thought, well, Lord, we know you've called for us to do this. Mm -hmm. And he provided the perfect person yes. for this role who was very willing to travel yes. far and did an outstanding, very compelling yeah. actor. So That's definitely cool. you can look forward to a treat. <laughs> yeah. I would like to add just to that um, this particular actor <clears throat> and there's other actors too, that their involvement in the in the episodes have actually helped them spiritually, you know, too. So so um and this person has mention that more than once you know and and to me that is a double blessing you know for for someone to be encouraged by um what by what they're portraying you know so yeah. i'm i'm excited you know and and um you know just thanking god for being able to be used you know for his glory yeah well you know i know that um that the film is coming out soon can you tell them exactly what your launch is and your launch date. Okay. So we are going to do a, uh, in-person, um, premiere, um, in, uh, slash five year anniversary. Um, and it's going to be right here in, in Detroit. Um, all the, the information I'll, I'll send to you the location and, um, uh, we will have a, a red carpet for people that want to be interviewed, you know, for that. And then we'll do, um, a, uh, one of our other episodes from season one, and then we'll do the, the uh, this episode, and then we'll have questions, you know, and answers. And then um, we want it to be free because we want it, we want as many people to come as possible. Um, but we are, you know, um, continuing to um, ask for help, you know, financial help, you know, with with this. So um donations. yep yep donations and, and things of that nature um while people are there so mm -hmm. um and then we will also have so this is october the 12th i'm sorry october the 12th and then october the 26th i believe it is um this is when we'll do a worldwide premiere so we'll make it available digitally you know and, and then people anywhere in the world can 
you know, can watch it. That's wonderful. You can catch a lot of what they're doing on YouTube. Yes. Um, that's where it's all playing under the Rapture Chronicles. You can also find Dre and Monica on Facebook and Instagram, and you're going to be following them because I love following them. <laughs> they have such a beautiful uh, marriage and lifestyle, and they just celebrated an anniversary. God bless you both. Thank you. Um, Thank you. And, and so, Dre, where can they go? Can they go to their your website to get more information? Yeah, yeah. Um, we we update everything on on our uh, website, um, which is churchhouseproductions.com. Um, we show you know um, the steps that we have uh, made to get to where we are. We're gonna um, make everything available through uh, Eventbrite, so that you know people can you know register there. And then when we do the worldwide premiere, then we'll also make it available there. Um, mm -hmm. And then we'll also put stuff up on our on our Facebook, but our web page is the, you know, is the central hub for anything and everything on all of the episodes, any music that I have out, um, anything and everything, church houses on that website. Mm -hmm. And what would you both like to leave my audience with today? I would like to encourage everyone to seek God because he has, he's put something in you that the world needs. And, and there's no way that you will be able to find out all of what it is until you find out and have a relationship with the one who made you, you know, who put the seed in you. Um, um, God told Adam to um, multiply. And so, so the seed that was in him and I'm, you know, um, all of the gifts, everything, you know, was, and he just began to work from that. So I encourage, if you want to find out what God has put you here, then let's seek the one that made you. And I believe that he will reveal it to you. And as disciples of Christ, we are all called to be ministers. We all have a responsibility to help reconcile people to Christ. Um, so that's one of the most important lessons that we all need to learn and we need to be about God's business, especially as we see the day approaching. Um, don't be afraid of their faces. Don't be afraid of if you're going to have a lot of followers or if you're going to lose followers. The main thing is to please God and that's the whole duty of man, fear God and keep his commandments. What if this was your last hour on earth? What would your attitude be towards everlasting life with Christ? Well, I hope you enjoyed this interview with Dre and Monica Hill. My hope is that this inspired you in your walk with Jesus. And if you enjoyed this, please put the hashtag Jesus is coming in the comments below and like and subscribe for more Christ-centered interviews be sure to visit the website, the call with Nancy Sebado.com and see all the updates on our previous guests. Until next time, all glory and honor to King Jesus.